Okay, we're so back. Give me some good old-fashioned ballots, bro. Dude, none of this. How about that? One discard or one hand. Something, something old-fashioned. Something you could hang your hat on. I'll take plus one hand per round. Let's be honest. I burn the discards anyway. I'm a bit of an over-discarder, I would say. <sighs> me personally, I mean, we're not getting a reward for the small blind except for hands. So I'm going to skip for an uncommon joker. Might not be the conventional wisdom. I should, I should be flushing early. Me when I'm going to the toilet, but I'm hungover. I don't know. I, the joke doesn't really fly with my real life, but I... I mean, I've been there, and I don't mean on vacation, but not for a while. You just want to make sure it doesn't clog, is the thing. Oh, it's... Well, it's get over it. It's the human body. I didn't make it. That was Charles Darwin, bro. You take it up with him. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say is it might not uh, vibe with the current... Preteric, the current meta of uh, Balatro. I like Uncommon Jokers, though. Sometimes, interesting, it's interesting at the very least. Would be nice to have plus one discard right now, let me tell you. Every discarded heart. I'm actually going to go for the Diamond Flush, just because our, our cards are so much better in that, in that capacity. Okay, never mind. Play the worst hand of all time, asked to leave. Some, okay, we'll do it again. Sometimes a, um, all right, one more time. No, no, it's hard to feel like I'm not uniquely getting persecuted here for trying to play a flush, but no big deal. Oh, you're, you shouldn't have, just in time to lose. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Thanks so much. That would have been criminal. What, what you did to me there was almost criminal. Anyway, rare jokers. Obviously better. However, kind of need that one. Um, I do want to say, what do you, you want me to discard diamonds? Okay, fine, I'll do it. We'll lead his two kings, bro. Um, a problem that I have with rare jokers is sometimes they sort of force you into an archetype. You know, a rare joker might be like, hey, buddy, this is a problem, by the way. 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen is a huge save here. Um, hey, buddy, times three if you got three of a kind. Hey, bro, no big deal. Hang on, I got an idea. Not the best hand of all time, obviously. Hey, bro, if you got a flush, times two. If you got a straight, times three, etc., etc. I think we lose this one. An uncommon joker, on the other hand, I, I think sometimes they can be a little bit more flexible. This is a restart situation. I Honestly, without being a hater, we didn't really get the kind of joker support, in my opinion, that you'd be looking for there in order to make a, a, a viable run happen. You need you need a little bit of help early. You can't just be, like, insanely good at Balatro. You know, at some point, you need to have some... There's math involved. Like, I would happily... I mean, we may lose out on Hieroglyph as a result of this, but I would happily take Odd Todd early. That's a little bit of help. And then I would take a double tag, which could be anything later. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, brother, 997, 9977. That's about it, but still, 9977 with a little eight kicker. It should be pretty good. That's pretty good. Ace, ace, jack, jack with a little six kicker dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. The aces do count as odd, which is is important. Oh, I'm stupid! What about a seven? Almost did exactly the same thing again. Okay, so it's, we got lucky. It only cost us a dollar to make an idiotic mistake like that. It could have cost us everything. I am unwilling... Sorry, it's, it's true. I'm unwilling to take Madness. I am willing to take an Arcana pack. It's a bit prospective, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not willing to take Voucher. I'm not, I'm not willing to reroll, but I'm a little scared. I would go double Arcana packs. Even getting like a single Judgment would hit the spot. With none Judgment, I think it's pretty simple. You can Empress odd cards, and you can Strength even cards to make them odd. 
it's you, you might not want to build your whole run around odd Todd, but like I don't really have that much choice right now. <laughs> I mean, we could always turn like an even card or a, or a neither odd nor even card into an ace. It's something. Now, do we get through extra large blind? Oh, I, I can't believe my eyes, brother. I drew all even cards in this economy. Okay, now, now we're at least cooking up something. I would probably... We're going to find something to do with that nine. We got to think like multi-handed here. We can't, we're not yet in a position to just play one hand and be done with it. I, why did I play the eight? The eight was supposed to be part of my flush. Okay, it's actually totally fine. Let's be honest. You're looking at this run, okay? You probably shouldn't be looking at it and being like, I'm expecting Odd Todd to win us the game. I, I would say what I'm more expecting, I guess we could have played two pair there, is I'm expecting Odd Todd to have a chance to keep us alive until we can get him a little bit of help, man. A little a buffoon pack. It, it doesn't get any better than that. I... I just because I'm opening a pack right away, but it's just it's tough. It's a tricky one, bro. The good news is we have a lot of money. Bad news is there's no Joker, but for ten bucks, we get a permanent third spot. Okay, that's cruel. Twelve molt on a three of a kind. I would take. I also think we can totally take Burnt Joker, and it might not be the best option, but I find Burnt Joker very interesting to play around with. So me personally, right off the bat, I'm like, dis discard a pair. Make a pair better. Obviously, like three of a kind twos is probably pretty good. I'm just hoping to get more odd cards into my hand. I know we discarded a few last time. That was not good at all. <laughs> it was horrible, actually. Um, keep, well, yeah, dump this, keep this. I think we're cooked, gamers. Desperately seeking odd cards. I mean, 7755 seven, five is something. Even if a pair has a higher mult, we're getting way more chips out of this. Three of a kind nines would really hit the spot. It's, it's actually so doable. <laughs> or three of a kind, <coughs> pardon me, three of a kind threes. I'm begging you, brother. You screwed me. After everything we've been through, you screwed me. Close, though. Okay, that, and let's be honest, that was big, like, extra large blind. So I think we got we got a little something cooking. I'm, I mean, the, remember, yes, it's, it's Balatro, right? It's not a challenge, necessarily, but... I mean, you should discard to try to get a straight flush. Oh, you can't, because you only have two discards. These are these are higher level stakes, brother. Like these are not play whatever you want and everything's gonna work itself out. Like these are these are New York Times connections level intellectual exercises. Okay, we're doing our best. Sometimes you gotta hold R. Sometimes everything's free in a shop, but you don't get a joker out of that. It happens from time to time. I would happily take 11 extra dollars from this hermit. I would happily upgrade the easiest hand to make because it's the most reliable one when we have no other options. I mean, getting a bunch of free planets is not so bad, but we really need a, a joker. I'll level with you. Um, I just... I just love Vagabond as a joker. It being eternal doesn't bother me. I think it's fun to play with. Let's give it a try. I'll, I'll immediately start with my full house. It's leveled up one time. Beautiful. And a wheel of... You know what? You you made the wheel of fortune, brother. This is uh, like old mother hen or whatever. If you make the freaking tarot card, you get to use it. Oh, he's a stud. <laughs> I knew it, brother. I knew it. Greatest joker of all time. So full house is good for us. 
We don't really have to worry about anything else. If anything, what we might wish to do is, is play some dookie hands to farm some tarot cards. Multiple sun cards. I mean, I'm literally going to use it. It's mostly just because maybe we take fortune teller at some point because I take it on like 90% of my runs. Temperance, I'm not like super stoked by. Are we, are we drawing the same hand every time or am I an insane person? Whatever we play, we're gonna we're gonna win. So what are you gonna do here? A sun card that doesn't do anything, or people are like, don't play the temperance card. Sure, it's three dollars versus nothing, but you think about how bad you would feel <laughs> getting three dollars instead of fifty. I hate to say it, sometimes the thing that feels wrong is the right move. Temperance, it, it's like a late game, Andy. Anyway, let's be honest. I hope to. Well, we have four dollars. I guess we won't be doing anything. You know what? I think we can afford this. We're, we're doing fine. Don't even worry about it. Then we can fool, which allows us to get a little bit more money. It also gives us the space for High Priestess, which levels up two hands we actually have been playing, potentially. And then honestly, like, with, we have to spend money anyway. You could do a lot worse than an early Mystic Summit. And I feel like you can, you can skip here and you never know how the negative is gonna, gonna serve you in the future, you know? Okay, let's see where we stand. Obviously, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. First, how about Ace-10-3? Hierophant card to buff, I don't know, two tens. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dump this, this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, we're just farming. We're just, we're actually too good. Who knew? Now we are, there's, there's not a zero cost here. We are burning um, tarot cards to do this. We're kind of, you know what we're doing? We're creating like a high card build. Do we want to create a high card build? I mean, Splash seems like the kind of thing that would work insanely well with a high card build. We go again. So we would just, like, I'm, I'm almost worried that the hand is going to be too good. Like, we're going to win too easily. Okay, don't worry about that. <laughs> That's something you don't need to concern yourself with that. If we're going high card, tower cards will go crazy. Let's just use this again. Fortune Teller may show up at some point. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll play the game that we've been playing for now. But we do want to play more high cards than anything else. I think that just happens necessarily sometimes as like a result of uh, Vagabond. If you're farming at least. So it's always, if we want to get tarot cards keep discards so that you don't accidentally win. That makes sense to me. Otherwise, if you want to win... Oh, a legendary... We got, we got to. That's the rules, bro. Disables the effect of the boss blind. I'm just going to say it. Worst legendary. If you got a problem with that, you could take it up with local thunk. When you get good enough, you don't have to... Or when your deck gets good enough, you don't have to worry about the boss blinds anyway. You never know. Judgment me. Three dollars. Five dollars if three or more face cards are discarded. Don't have to worry about the fish. Don't have to worry about the fish. But against a, a boss, I am going to probably discard down to zero first. Oh no, I screwed up Vagabond by using- You get out of my face, faceless joker! You screwed me! I guess getting five bucks instead of two tarot cards is not the end of the world, but it... Well, actually, we might have gotten, like, a, a lot of tarot cards, man. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, we might have been cooking on tarot cards, but... Alas, it is what it is. Isn't this still, like, really good? Because every card counts in scoring? It's still pretty freaking good, honestly. Okay, don't, don't mess with Vagabond anymore. It's been too good to you. Love to see Hone. We gotta spend ourselves down. You should just, just get off my squad. I don't want you. The best thing you could do for me is nothing. You know what? I'd spend nine bucks on a, on a rare Joker. Times two Molt on a Flush. I think that's a sell. But I appreciate what it tried to do for me. We're not building any Molt right now, so I don't think we need to bend over backwards for a Polychrome Joker. 
I guess if anything, we just play a straight that is not going to give us 9,000 points. Get Vagabond going. Let me test something here for you. How about a flush that will at least double the mult? Mind you, our mult is, is not good. <laughs> Gives us a sun card, okay. Let's say discard, 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 discard. Discard. One discard remains. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I would say at this point, we are, I mean, we got a straight flush, which is kind of crazy, but we're, we're not really trying to farm hands. We're trying to win, but at the same time, I bet the straight flush wins it for us. So let's at least take one chance. Now a star card, I dump that any day of the week. You know what? I'm, I'm putting my full trust in this, and maybe I shouldn't. I want one more tarot card. This is what Vagabond's here for. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Redemption for our last straight flush build. Never a doubt in my mind, brother. Never a doubt in my freaking mind. Now, we're not, I'm still not that worried about the tribe, okay? You don't do enough for us. I'm sorry, you don't do enough for us. If anything, this needs to be a temperance card. Then we could start to talk. I mean, we're going a little bit crazy. One, one thing we could do, and we're getting into it now, but <laughs> the lot of the deck is hearts already. We got 23 hearts. We could talk about taking Hanged Man instead and cutting some non-hearts. Extra large blind. Holy cow. I mean, we don't have to play straight flushes. Even just the flush is something, but we do have eight, nine, ten. You can at least dump that, see what you draw. Four, four. Um, that, that was fast. Um, every card counts in scoring. I guess I'm just going to play it. So that was halfway there. That's fine. Now we're going to need a little bit more. <laughs> um, worst tie card of all time. Saving some stuff back in case we can make a flush in the future. A lover's card, a beautiful thing. Now we have another flush. I don't know. How do, how do we find ourselves in a position where we're playing straight flushes on anti-4 and we're going to be playing flushes only on anti-5? Doesn't seem to compute to me, but here we are. Here we are. Honestly, every played card counts in scoring, bro. I'm a believer. I'm not a believer, by the way. I'm <laughs> I feel like we're we're kind of drifting a little aimlessly here. Um, about an Arcana pack. We really cement what we're going for. Twenty dollars. We do have to spend it like immediately. Like Golden Joker, I appreciate your econ, but we need score. We may even just need chips. What's the boss blind effect here? We don't know yet. Uh, okay, give me a standard pack. That's an unfortunate skip. 10 molt on a flush. I, I, I hate to tell it to you. I just don't see it happening, man. I just, I, and I don't see blackboard working. If anything for blackboard, you want the whole deck to be spades and clubs, not the whole deck to be hearts, but... Oh, this is the extra large blind. This is a great time to have not sold our, our boss blind, that's for sure. So we're literally just going to... We have $25. It's not the best situation for, for Vagabond to be in, I suppose. <laughs> My mistake. Tell you what, we get too many aces in this. How about something like this? Burned an ace, making uh, a four turn into an eight. Not something I'm necessarily proud of. Um, I'm going to hit you with something crazy. 
every card scores. So I, I send my lucky card out there just to see if maybe it hits the 20x, bro. I don't even know what I'm fishing for here, but I, I do know having a, a stone card in your hand maybe is that it, it's the great... Never mind, we got there. It's the great equalizer. I'm, I'm stuck in a classic like Slay the Spire type situation. There's no way out of where we're at right now. But I must get there. Like, I can't afford to sell any of my jokers because we'll lose. But if I don't sell any of my jokers, well, we, we can't win. Polychrome 6 has got me feeling a certain way. I don't think it's Ceremonial Dagger. I understand we could place it behind Vagabond, but like... Ah, but it does, it does scale real quick. <laughs> but before scaling, we have to sell a Joker, like maybe Misprint, and then kill... I mean, killing Shakot is 14 molt by itself. And then you just start playing flushes. Okay, all right, all right, you've convinced me. I don't really need interest, but I also need to spend money. So yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not proud of myself for this, but yeah, we're killing our legendary Joker. It's true. Start with zero discards. See, that's one that would be nice to have. <laughs> That'd be a nice one to hold on to. But we've, we've chosen our path now. This seems good. And if we're going to do it like this, let's steal you up. Put it on a low card so it's always on the far right side of the hand. 5,000 points. That's why Vagabond exists. You know what? We can get another Joker for a second. 20 Molt on four of a kind. Not the sort of thing... I personally expect to be, like, super relevant. <laughs> Another Emperor card. They're really trying to keep me in the game here, guys. They are. I was just going to say, a fabulous time for a Jupiter to show up. We'll send this just because I'm not in the position to be making any enemies right now. Did get enough hearts. Easily, I might add. Easily wasn't even close. And look at the value that you get out of out of just one Jupiter card. Now follow it up with the most beautiful Arcana pack ever created. You you have to use a Sun card. I mean, I'd I'd love to like f High Priest this. I guess maybe I wouldn't. I don't. Maybe I don't care. Maybe I'm just happy to have a Sun card here. Then we can use Fool as another Sun card and and keep the deck moving here. Okay, I like your. 16 Molt, it's a beautiful situation to be in. How about a little bit of this? 910 Jack, Queen, King. It's a straight flush. Flush is 50 by 6, this is 100 by 8. We definitely take this. God, I've never wanted anything more than this wheel, bro. <laughs> we, we got so lucky with the early wheel, I was like, there's no chance. But I, I had to try. I still have no... I, I've got to be discarding, bro! <laughs> what am I doing? i got to go down to zero discards off, off the Mystic. Ooh! Okay, this, this actually changes everything. We have nothing to fear except fear itself. You know what? Let's just say all those mistakes we made earlier... We were only making them to farm Vagabond, okay? Can we can we agree upon that? Can we freaking agree upon that? Me personally, I do want an Empress card before I pop this planetary card. Love to see a Jupiter. I, I don't feel comfortable going all in on Neptunes yet, but... I'm supposed to buy a Joker there. That being said... Here we go. <laughs> This seems pretty bad. Um, maybe maybe a, a judgment out of Vagabond here would hit the spot. Tower. Not precisely what we're looking for. That is that's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. We have zero discards. 
Why don't you become a freaking stone? And then I, I can't quite get the flush with this hand, so I'm just going to dump it and say thank you to Splash for at least existing. <coughs> Pardon me, we have it again. I don't know how meritous this is, but something like that, maybe. Just to make space for the next tarot card. My word. They said it couldn't be done. Would you look at that? <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and tell you we don't have problems, okay? I'm just... We're not a problem-focused organization here. We're a solution-focused organization. Um, realistic, God is my witness. Take Hieroglyph immediately. To give us more chance to fix our deck. And then you're not going to kill Vagabond, so what do I care? We, we take this opportunity to simmer for just a moment. Make our existing hearts better. Create stones that literally we don't want, but we don't want a, a five off suit either. So what do we care? Eighteen thousand points, a pittance. If anything, this is a great time to farm. Just remember you don't have as many hands as you used to. <laughs> it's true. It's a true state. Truer words have never been spoken. We got a little less room to get tarot cards out of Vagabond, but he got mad weapons too. Ain't trying to hear that. Okay, two Joker spaces. Obviously, we would like to fill those. We gain 25 chips per stone. I, I think I snoozed that mightily, bro. Give me give me guaranteed permanent mult off of this, even if it is only two mult. Doubles your money. Is this a joke? Any non-buffed heart is getting buffed. It's as simple as that. You know what would really hit the spot is the more you play a hand, the, the better it gets. Because we are, like, now in an act of desperation only playing flushes and like one straight flush once so we can't pop temperance until we're till we're ready to go we can absolutely pop a lover's card i don't think there's anything wrong with that you know you're in trouble as soon as i start talking about like a wild card being good you should start planning what video you're going to watch next because that's a bad sign However, <laughs> this is the exact Joker I asked for. Good. And it's et eternal, even better. So it's already given us 20 mult. This is going to give us $13. We'd be silly not to double it right away, I think. Lover's card goes crazy. Buffoon pack. An uncommon Joker. This is a scary one, but an uncommon Joker we can kill for four... Molt coming into Ceremonial Dagger and a better Jupiter for the time being. We have, we have to spend all our money. Uh, uh, the Jupiters are going to go crazy, man. I can't even reroll. Okay, well, I guess... Yes, I can. Scary. <clears throat> okay, it actually just doesn't apply at all. I was worried that the burglar effect would cause us problems, but... Now, what's the, what's the goodness of what we got going on here? We have just leveled up. You could just cut a stone and just, ah, whatever. <laughs> it's useful in some circumstances, I'm sure. Um, the, the beauty of our current situation is we just leveled up Jupiter like two times. So our flushes are good, even though our flushes are bad because of the boss effect. I actually think we might have pulled this one out, man. Okay, Observatory is really interesting if we can get a Jupiter in our consumable slots. It's an easy kill. I think we... You, you, first, you buy High Priestess and use it. With no Jupiter there, I think we go sell, sell, and just lock in the voucher for now. Double your money, negative Joker. I think we're kind of... I think we're kind of dialed. <coughs> Pardon me, I don't think we're sweating necessarily a negative joker. I'm very comfortable with how our, our hands are looking. 
me after I go to the nail salon. Imagine that joke made sense for me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not stressing it or anything like that. I'm just, I've never been. We're happy with where we stand. Goal for the next two antis. If we could get a... <clears throat> we have a flush. Oh, we want, we want to hold the steel, though. If we could get a, um, a Jupiter into our hands, we would consider that to be a positive for sure. Temperance is pretty solid. I'm not going to complain about temperance. We also might want to prepare for the possibility that one day we're like not going to get a, a two flushes. What are we going to do in that situation? I don't want to talk about it, okay? I don't want to imagine that that could come to pass. Let's start with some money. Let's buy a death card. Then we open the Arcana pack. High Priestess has value for us. If anything, I think you like chariot a low heart and then like create another steel one like this. So I'm just trying to think of what we do next. I don't think chips, I mean, we don't have any chip enabler, but it, I don't think it's that important right now. Judgment feeds ceremonial dagger probably, but high priestess possibly, I, I still think we didn't make the wrong decision in my opinion. <coughs> we were fishing for... We gotta buy a joker if possible. Well, you know, it's something. We were fishing for, um, like, one specific card that would have helped us out a lot. It didn't come to pass. What are we supposed to do, you know? I'm not gonna cry about it. Probably. Well... Let's hit you with the... I don't even know what you are. Let's molt you. What are you? Five of nothing. It's fine. Welcome back to the real world. Here, times 30. Plus 32 molt that then gets times two. Pretty good. I was like, I have no cards in my in my deck. I have no cards in my deck. <laughs> I was freaking out until I remembered what boss we were going up against. And you're adding... I mean, we got like... I was just going to say, like a hundred and something malt. Pretty great. We've made it to anti-7. Plus one discard goes crazy. An uncommon joker, aka more cell value, goes nicely with ceremonial dagger. And uh, just the, using a Jupiter, because I can't put it in hand, but using a Jupiter is still pretty good. I don't think we should be stressed too much. 56,000? Oh, but I, I, I should be stressed because I screwed up Vagabond, bro. Still. I mean, this is a pretty great flush. We could fish for a straight flush, but... We got a good thing going here. Sorry, Vagabond, it's my mistake. I'm so used to, you know, paying too much attention to our econ, maybe, that I... I lost myself for a second there. I'm even playing a steel card just to get the, to purge this from memory as soon as possible. You never know. Those could have been the, the ultimate two tarot cards, man. We weren't due. Always, always Jupiter scaling is going to go crazy. Did I even buy a telescope? Is that why we're getting so many flushes here? I did, but of course, because you need telescope to get observatory. We really, the planets are the unsung heroes of this run, man. Reroll for six, we do, we do. All hearts are debuffed is coming up. Uh, it's not great, I'll admit, but I don't think it's that bad because we're, our cards are helping us a lot. I'm not gonna deny that. However, our jokers are really doing the majority of the work, I think. We'll see, I mean, I might be wrong. I just feel like reasonably confident that most of the value on this run is being created by our jokers and not our, uh, our cards themselves, even though our cards are like enhanced to the gills. We're due. Brother, two molts. Uh, we, we take those. That's all I have to say about that. We take those. I knew it. 
50 chips getting multiplied by 200. It's, it's not insignificant. It's maybe not the most significant. It's not going to take us to E, but certainly not going to be annoyed by it. Okay, let's, let's test our theory. 5,000 points. <laughs> okay, uh, dump all wilds. We will try to make a diamond flush. We could make a club flush too. Just me personally, I'd love to draw like a club before I commit to that. We at least have four diamonds. Okay, I'm not thrilled with this either. I'm not going to club them up for no reason though. That just doesn't make sense. An Emperor card could hit the spot. Okay, um, I'm not, listen, here's the deal, okay? I think we lose, but I'm not going to torpedo the run by turning hearts into clubs. We'll sell this and then hope Emperor bails us out. It gave us another Emperor. We sell High Priestess because one level of planets is not going to get us there. We pop our Emperor. A chariot and a tower. Man, that's bad. <laughs> okay, you go insane betting on a high card to save you. The lucky popped and we still only got 7,000 points. I'm cooked, guys. I mean, this, this is getting Balotrode right here. We, we had a good run. It was a little saucy, but it was a good run. Did I not play a flush the first time and totally screw myself? Like, why was that one worth so much more? Did I play high card and then go, oh, I can't play hearts anymore, but actually playing hearts would have been totally fine for me? Oh, brother. <laughs> here, you know, as penance, we run one more back. Now, admittedly, I only have 24 minutes here, so we're going to go pretty quick with it. So just prepare yourself for that, okay? Or at least I'm going to try to go pretty quick with it. I've been making some mistakes today. Maybe there's a little mental fatigue here. I mean, I just discarded one of the cards that I need in order to get my straight to work. So that's a pretty bad start. This is a nice little... Maybe because I acknowledged it, the game said, you know what, we're going to take it easy on you. 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack. No jokers, no enhanced cards. And immediately my brain is like, I know what I'm going to do. Straight build. Because I played two of them by pure chance. Early popcorn. Everything's free in the next shop. We we don't hate this at all. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna trust the mental illness on this one. I'm gonna trust that it is steering me towards greatness. I mean six, seven, eight, nine opens up a lot of doors for you. You should probably Oh, you can't. You gotta just play some stuff, man. 20 molt, though? 20 molts? With 20 molt, you should play a pair. <clears throat> if you never speak of this again, I would be greatly appreciative of that fact. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyway, everything's free. That's nice. Hey, this is actually like a great shop for everything to be free. A free jumbo buffoon pack. Honestly, if I'm leveling with you, I think we're going to be skipping some blinds here because we want to be preservationist towards popcorn as well. I would happily gain nine extra dollars. Two jokers that I, I don't expect superposition to do anything, but maybe. And banner, we can work with it because popcorn and, and throwback are going to work nicely together. And then I, I honestly think you go skip, skip. And I, I'm like, I'd prefer to use none rerolls if possible. Just to see how we look. I was just going to say, just to see how we look with banner, popcorn, and throwback working so nicely in conjunction. Hand size goes crazy. At some point, we are going to need to build a deck, you know? I think maybe... 
Sell for two, sell for two. It takes us to 12. I'm like, I feel like I need $13. Because if I get smeared Joker and Blackboard, I'm like, they work. Am I really willing to sell all of our Jokers that provide score in order to... I, I don't... I literally think it would be fun, but I don't think I can. I'd take my reroll instead. I'm sorry. I, I wish it weren't the case. We go next. I'm not... I'm not but maybe we roll one more time. I mean, those are cheap rerolls. I'm going to take 10-4 for the moment, and I'm going to take Venus for the moment, because I don't, I don't know long-term what we're going to be playing. I'm... I promise you I'm not throwing to throw. I'm trying to maximize the value of popcorn. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to maximize the value of throwback, okay? I recognize what we're doing is a little strange. It's certainly unusual. Spades go crazy. Don't mind if I do. Let's see if we get like a hermit first. <coughs> Worst pack in, in human history, sure, no big deal. Now we got chips, flat malt and malt malting. Like we we got a we got all the elements of like what should be a good run. That being said, I certainly don't feel like it's that good. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe maybe we got the foundation set up. Like that's not an insignificant hand, probably. What if we just kept our fours and our tens? <laughs> Maybe getting a bit hopeful, some people might say. I mean, I really, I, I guess I'm just keeping my four. Oh, you, you have to play something. You have to play something here. They're asking me to play something. What do you like? You like spades. In that case, sounds backwards. We're going to play hearts. So that we can get a, a full spade flush out there at some point, perhaps. But I'm, I'm holding the four as a just-in-case-me type deal. See, I was worried when it all fell apart, it would fall apart bigly. But it turns out it's actually totally fine. We got nothing to worry about. We just pivot. Now we just make spade flushes, bro. Hmm. I hate it. I, I hate it. Um, you got any cards that could change my mind? Always. Always. You got any cards that could change my mind? Always. Things you love to see. I mean, you're useless. I don't want to spend all of my econ on this, so just give me Golden Joker for now. And we really, we'd really benefit from playing some tens and some fours. I hate to, I hate to get rid of you. I do. He gave me a judgment. So it's got to be done, bro. Like, we need the help. We need the help. Oh! <coughs> Hollow Hiker? What in Tarnation? I'm... Maybe this is naive of me. I'm starting to think we have a chance. It also gives us a great excuse to not skip any more blinds. Also gives us a great excuse to start purchasing some packs, getting some Jupiters. This is, I, I don't want to squander this. Normally, Jupiter is not this easy to come by. And on this, the, the whole video, it's been in like every pack. So I'm very grateful. Extra large blind. You can call me insane if you want. I think we get there. That's not a straight. <laughs> now, 10-4 can go. We can just see from that how we, we don't absolutely 100% have to play spades in every circumstance. Like, we, we can farm up something like this. Just creating a situation where our tens get even better for the future. Because, like, the more hands we play with Hiker, the better. It's, something's happening. Something's happening. Then we bust out the flushes when necessary. How about an Econ Joker? No economics in this Joker. Okay. Okay. Um... Hanged man on non spades, non tens, non fours. Let's make this deck more consistent. Let's draw Jupiter. This time you didn't hook me up, and uh, I took that personally. But I'm still feeling, still feeling pretty good. Pfft. 
play a four? <laughs> At least I'm, I'm like, get, get Hiker popping on the four. Get a quick two pair out there. We're, we're going to need to play some spades at some point, but I'm, I'm kind of like hiker farming. And to some extent, banner farming. But I don't think banner is like worth farming. If anything, we should probably be farming spades, selling banner, because the chips are going to go crazy just from hiker itself. And from arrowhead. Yeah, if anything, we need flat malts. Absolutely right. We need flat malts. Useless. I'll, I'll buy it. I need flat malts. 12 malts on a three of a kind? You disgust me. <laughs> I can't use that. Now, I know what you're going to say. NL, you're cooked now. The blind's too big. Adam Sandler voice, I disagree. Discard me. I know it's a four. Give me a good tarot card. It's a tarot card. I just want to see how this looks. Obviously, you're doing nothing. That was a, a good hand. Now, would I say it's a great hand? I wouldn't go that far. Since we're limited on options, I pop this. I pray for a great situation there. I would say it did not come to pass. But that was a Hail Mary that made sense to me. We play... Basically nothing. <laughs> but, oh, why did I play a spade, bro? And I, I was trying to get the 10 some sauce on it. Queen, queen, queen might not be that bad. Three of a kind is leveled up a lot. Keep... Uh, it doesn't matter what suits you play. At this point, we're, not, we're probably not going to... Well, you keep spades because they're worth more, but... I think we're cooked again. It has to be spades, bro. What do you think about this? This is the ultimate Hail Mary. Full house of tens and fours incoming. Three of a kind fours, one of them is a spade. Full house is worse. It's better for chips, but we're gonna we're gonna chip it up anyway. Please! Please! It wasn't even close! Alright, well. At least we filled out some more time. I think we took throwback early and skipped too much. But anyway, for, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take a sabbatical for the weekend and come back with a fresh mind on Monday. See you next time. See ya.